Coming up with a name for your pet is a topic that a lot of cat parents agonize over. Should you go with something classic, like tabby or whiskers? Or cutesy, like sweetie or fluffy? Or even a human name like Archie or Jennifer? There are so many choices. But how much does it really matter? Your cat isn't a dog, after all. They won't come when called. As far as they're concerned, their name is just a random noise amid the jumble of other random noises that humans make. Right? Wrong. Despite popular belief, you can teach your kitty to learn to recognize their name and even respond to it. In this video, we're going to look at how to teach your cat what their name is. But before we dive in, why not subscribe and join our feline loving community for more videos on how to care for your kitty. Step 1. Choosing the right name. A cat's name can be virtually anything. The earliest known cat name in history was Nedjim, which roughly translates to Sweetie. It belonged to a kitty who lived in the 15th century BC, whose cat dad was the second priest of Amun during the reign of the ancient Egyptian queen Hatshepsut. Today, many cat owners choose to go with more creative names for their pets. For example, the internet superstar Grumpy Cat, star of memes and her own movie, was actually named Tardar Sauce. Your cat won't know or care what their name means in human language, but they will care about the length. If you want your cat to understand their name, make it relatively short, ideally only a few syllables. One or two syllable names like Spot or Molly are perfect. Slightly longer names like Marmalade or Macavity are a bit more complicated but shouldn't be a problem for a clever cat. Sir Leopold Fluffington Marquess of Cuddletown III, however, your cat will be asleep before you finish the sentence. If you have your heart set on a longer name for your kitty, consider choosing a shorter nickname you can use to refer to them in day-to-day -day life. In 2015, the UK's Supreme Cat Show was won by a cat named Imperial Grand Premier Kalinga Emrys quite the meowthful. When asked, his owner said that at home his name was Teddy. Be careful with using too many nicknames, however. Your cat won't necessarily understand that Charlotte, Charlie, Lottie, Cha-Cha and Lola are all variations of the same name. Stick to one name during training sessions, whether it's your kitty's official name or a nickname, to ensure your cat doesn't get confused. Equally, if you're blessed with more than one feline friend in your life, be sure and give them distinct names. Think Lucky and Sparkles rather than Bill and Jill if you don't want them getting mixed up. Cats aren't always great at distinguishing individual human words or sounds, and you want to make it as easy for them as possible. Step 2. Use their name. The best way to get your kitty used to their new name is also the most obvious. Use it! Try greeting your cat with their name when they come into a room, or repeating it when you're cuddling or playing with them. The aim is not just to get your pet used to their name, but also to get them to associate it with positive experiences. Remember, your cat is unlikely to ever consider their name to be part of their identity, the way a human would. Their brains just don't work that way but they can start to make the link between you making that noise and good things happening, whether they be cuddles, playtime or treats, and so respond when they hear it. Step 3. Watch your tone. Cats are very sensitive to tone of voice and can easily tell when a human is angry or happy. If you're trying to get your cat used to a new name, make sure you use a bright, happy tone when saying it, so your kitty knows that it's something positive. Don't use it when scolding them, or your cat may start to associate it with scary or upsetting things instead. Using a consistent tone of voice when calling your cat can also make it easier for them to recognize what you want. If your cat is having trouble learning their name, try pairing it with a specific tone or hand gesture to make it clearer for them. Step 4. Start training. When training your cat to come when called, pick a time when you are both calm and free from distractions. Go to the room your cat is in and sit somewhere that is far away, but still within your cat's eye line. Bring a bag of your cat's favorite treats. Then call their name clearly and distinctly and wait. They probably won't come over straight away, but they may look up to see why you're making that noise. When they do, 
show them the treats, shake the bag if necessary, or open it so your cat can pick up the scent, keep calling their name. When they come over, reward them with a treat. Then, while they're busy eating, move away and start the process again. Eventually, your cat should come over without you needing to show them the bag. Step 5. Be patient. Training sessions should last no longer than 15 minutes, with at least an hour's break in between. Remember, you are training your cat to do something that is fundamentally not natural to them. It may seem simple to humans, but to a cat learning to come when called not only requires them to learn what their name is, but also the concept of names in general, the concept of following commands in exchange for treats, and how to recognize the command come over here. It's a lot to take in, and spending too long on it can lead to both of you getting frustrated. Remember how you felt during those long high school math classes? You don't want your kitty feeling like that when you're trying to teach them their name. Step 6. Step up your game. Once your cat has got the idea, start calling them from different places. Call them from the other room or the other side of the house. If you have an outdoor cat, try calling them from the yard into the house. Next, start phasing out the treats, replacing them with healthier rewards such as ear scratches or verbal praise. Ideally, after a while, your cat will start coming to you automatically whenever they hear you calling. What if my cat can't learn their name? There are a few reasons why your cat may struggle to learn their name, the most obvious being hearing problems. Deafness is particularly common in white cats with blue eyes, so if your new kitten fits this profile and isn't responding to their name at all, it may be worth a trip to the vet to have their hearing checked. It doesn't have to be linked to a medical condition, however. Cats in general have very strong personalities and clear ideas about their own autonomy. Many cats, even after being trained to come when their owners call them, may choose to not respond if they're busy doing something else like playing or sleeping, or if they think they can get you to come to them. Particularly stubborn cats may refuse to be trained at all, while particularly distractible cats may just not have the patience for it. Stray or rescue cats who weren't exposed to human contact as kittens may be too skittish to approach you on command. Ultimately, every cat is different, and as cat parents, it's important to accept our pets for how they are, rather than how it would be more convenient for them to be. If your cat seems distressed by training or refuses to respond after a period of several months, it may be time to accept defeat. It doesn't mean that your cat is dumb or disobedient or doesn't love you. It just means that they are their own individual, with their own personality and behaviors that can't necessarily be changed. Sometimes, however, changing your cat's behavior can be a matter of health rather than convenience. For example, do you know what to do if your cat is avoiding their water dish to the point of being dehydrated? For more advice on cat behavior and training, check out this video on how to get your cat to drink more water.